Hi there, this is Peter Henson, Stage 6 Deputy and Coordinator of the Subject Selection Process for Years 9 and 10 for Semester 2 Strive in 2021. This video is designed to assist you with the process being undertaken to complete the Subject Selection for Strive for Semester 2. To refresh your memory, Strive is the curriculum structure which provides students with more choice for electives across years 9 and 10. During semester 1, students undertook compulsory units in English, Maths, HISI, Science and PDHPE. During semester 2, students will again have to do compulsory units in these subjects. In addition, they had a choice of when they did additional units in English, Maths, Science and HISI. If students did these units in semester 1, then they will need to undertake units in the other courses in semester two. In, in addition to these core units, students will also undertake a total of eight elective units across the year. For example, in semester one, if you did extra units in English and HISI, then you need to choose science and maths in semester two while you're undertaking the core units. If you did science and English, then choose maths and HISI in semester two. Whatever you are currently undertaking, you need to pick something else for semester two in the extra core units. In addition to those core units, you will need to pick new elective units. These units also need to be different from those currently being undertaken. You cannot undertake the same units that at any stage in the STRIVE curriculum. You will also be asked not to submit reserve units from those that you are currently undertaking. The school will examine all the choices submitted before finalising the development of the pattern of study for semester two. If students have, have found, are found to have chosen the same units, they will be asked to make changes at school as soon as possible so that final choices can be made before the final pattern of study is developed. The normal process of choosing subjects is undertaken. Students will be given a sheet with a unique code on it, and this gets entered into the EdVal website. Two boxes will appear. One is inactive from semester one, and the new one with the green opens for submission bar is the one you should click on. The first choice you will make is your most preferred elective unit. It is critical, it is critical that all electives that you choose are done in the order that you want to do them. The way the electives are presented are in alphabetical order based on their codes. You may need to scroll through the list to find the ones that you want. Only those being offered in the semester will be listed. For AVID students, you are asked to ensure that your first choice is the appropriate AVID unit. For Year 9, AVID 112, AVID Expansion, or in Year 10, AVID 114, AVID cons Consolidation. After picking the most preferred elective, you will then be asked to make five selections from the compulsory core units. The five units are listed for you and the five choices which follow, you must pick each one that, are, that is listed. The order that they are chosen does not matter, just that all five are entered. In the past, places in these classes were determined by each faculty. In the strive process, the classes are determined to best fit the choices that students want to undertake. The next two choices you will make are for the additional compulsory core units. Students will have already undertaken two of these courses listed and they should pick the two opposite they have not yet completed to ensure that the requirements for those courses are met. After picking the compulsory units, you will then be able to pick the next three elective units. It is very important that you pick these in preference order. 
scroll through to find the second one you want and so on. You will not be allowed to do the same units, units you have done previously, so please look carefully at your subject selection information sheet and avoid choosing the same units, even as reserved choices. Remember that you are picking for semester two and you will not be able to do the units that you have already undertaken in semester one. Students in year nine will have the opportunity to do more of the units in 2022, so they do not need to exhaust the options in a course by the end of the year. This will allow them to continue on with the courses into year 10. The final step is to make some reserve choices. Once again, you need to make sure that these are done in preference order. These will be used to fill up your pattern of study if your other elective choices don't get up. They will be used in the order you put them. Once again, you are asked not to pick any subjects that you have undertaken during semester one. Once all the choices are entered, students will have their, their selections examined to ensure that they have all the core units required and that they have not picked any subject that they have previously done, even as a reserve choice. Codes and information sheets will be handed out on Tuesday the 20th of April. Students will be asked to complete their choices overnight. Any issues which are identified will be examined over the next two days and a teacher will sit with the student to make adjustments to the choices prior to the final pattern of study being established. If you have any additional questions, please contact the school.